What's going on guys? I am Jace Machine and this is a Star Made tutorial about setting up a creative world for yourself. Opening the Star Made launcher and start your game. This will bring up the pregame Star Made connection setup and in bold text at the top of the screen it tells you which version of Star Made you are currently running. Now, choose the World Manager. Now, you're going to want to create new. And you can name your world whatever you want. I have chosen Creative Universe for my own, but let's start a brand new one here for this. So this time, instead of Creative Universe, we've named it Creative World Tutorial. And now we just have to select it and then set that as your default. So it'll, you'll know that it's the correct world when it says true next to its name. When you're done with that, just click on back and we're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and hit okay. All right, now we have to set up an infinite shop. And since we have spawned right next to a shop, we might as well use this. In order to select the shop that you want to use a command on, bring up the navigation menu with N. And as you can see, the shop is right there. In case you're in a cluttered area, make sure that your filters have everything else turned off except for shops. Now that you have highlighted the shop with a little click, you'll know that you have done right because it is white and pulsing. Hooray! Now you're ready for the commands you're going to need. In single player games, the player, you, are the admin of your own world, so you're going to need to be able to bring up the chat window with Enter key. And if you hit the what is this the forward slash not the question mark but it shares the question mark key this and tab is going to bring all the possible commands up right here this is everything everything you need but for right now we are only concerned about the shop infinite command we're just going to type that directly into the chat window once you type the command into the chat window, go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, it is a success. The shop infinite flag has been set to true. So what's next? Money. You need money in order to be able to do stuff. So what you need to do is have the console command for that. And I'll just give that to you real quick. That's going to be give credits, and that's give underscore credits space your in-game name space and then the numerical value of the credits that you want to give yourself. Now you have uh, nine places of cash value that you can have up here, um, but I think that even if you go above that, it will roll over and start to, uh, to get cluttered on the screen. But basically give yourself uh, a one and maybe uh, seven or eight zeros after that and you should be good for a while. You really don't need a whole lot right off the bat. And this command code will give you more money as needed. So now that I have a lot of money, you can now just build everything you'd like here at the, uh, the shop. Everything is uh, unlimited. See, infinite supply, so you are good to go. The only problem that I found is sometimes your inventory will end up filling up with stuff and when you try to sell them back to the shop or whatever, you will have problems on some occasions. But that's how you make yourself a creative world in Star Made. I use my creative world to test ideas and to learn the mechanics of the game better in an environment free from the constraints of block supply. Now the best part of all is when you've built something in your creative world, you can save it to your local catalog within the catalog menu. And you can bring that up by hitting N again if you wish. Or since you're close to a shop, 
you can bring it up with B. It's going to be one of these tabs down here, and this is your catalog tab. You can save your ship in the local catalog, and then you can upload entities from your local uh, catalog. And this has every ship that I've saved. Some of the ships are the Isanths, of course. Um, but say we want to build uh, a TIE Interceptor. We now have the TIE Interceptor available. And at, if you were in a normal game, the way that you would have access to this is you would buy the blueprints. Yes, of course I would like to buy the blueprints. Okay, so we have the blueprints for a TIE Interceptor. Now, if you want to just use stuff as you need in a creative mode, you would just admin load something in. And that should be appearing right there. So if you're the admin and you're in a creative mode sort of world that you've set up, you can just spawn things in without needing to use money to buy them. But if you're in a survival world setting, what you need to do is you need to take a look at your blueprint and right click on that. Now this is going to show you every single block and how many of each block uh, was used and what you do. In order to make this, you can add all the items from your inventory, or you can do one by one uh, and piecemeal add them in so that you don't lose items out of your inventory. But we can just do this, and it'll take everything out of my inventory, and it'll tell you what percent of the progress uh, we are through building that. And as soon as everything reaches 100%, the ship is yours. I don't know if the progression is passed along when you hand the blueprint to another person. I would hope that it's tied to that blueprint, but I guess that's something to test in multiplayer. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video instructive as well as entertaining. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more content like this and join me on Facebook and Twitter for channel updates and news and stuff. If you have any comments, be they positive or negative, please leave them in the space provided below. As always, I'll see you next time.